What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Chuckle T coming back at you with another video, man. And yeah, where we at? We at we right out what about an hour away from um Columbia, South Carolina. We on our last load, I think. Probably before we go home. I don't know. Cause I probably should be going home Friday. I don't know because um I got a couple I got a couple more days before, so We'll, we'll see what they do. I don't know if they're going to give me another load or if they're going to want me to day ahead home after I drop this load off because I got to deliver it. I think my appointment time was at 11.30, but I'm about to call them and see if they'll take me early. Now, they don't open up till like 8 in the morning, but I woke up early as hell. Uh, got me a shower, just brushed my teeth. And yeah, man, I, you know, just getting ready. I, I had went to bed kind of early last night, so I'm just trying to hurry up and get this, get all my stuff done I need to do, cause you know, I don't, don't want to be sitting up in the truck all funky and stuff, cause you know, I, I was running yesterday, hurry up and, and deliver the load and picked up this one and got this one here. So I'm just, I'm just chilling, man, right now. So I thought, let me make a video for these folks out here, but. Today's topic is why I'm looking into other fields, even though I got my truck paid off. Because to me, I, I've been seeing too much, you know, bull crap going on on regulations about trucks and stuff like that. And, and especially if, if Biden win again, because they're, they're trying to push everybody off of diesel trucks and they're trying to make everybody go electric and they're making all these crazy rules that don't make any sense in, in California and, and all these blue states. So pretty much trucking is, is probably gonna get a hell of a lot worse than, than what it is right now. And I, I'm pretty much just preparing to, if, if it does get too much out of hand, I got a backup plan because this, a lot of these rules don't make any sense and they're trying to push people into certain things in trucking that's pretty much gonna cost the cost the driver pretty much so and to me I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point now where it it is getting to the point where if, if they push so far that trucking is not even worth it anymore so I mean it, it, it's, it's other careers out here and, and trucking isn't the only one where you can make a lot of money so and to me it, it, it's just not worth it anymore well it it's still worth it to me because you know i'm freaking you know i got my truck paid off and i'm still making a decent amount of money being regional and i can you know go through the house every few days but if i can get a job to where i can you know uh, be home every day and still make the same amount of money why wouldn't I do it so but pretty much that that's all because like it, it, it's just like a bunch of headache like what what do they think's gonna happen when you try to push like we, we, we say California like as an example because they, they're like the, the crazy ones out there and I don't I don't see why y'all keep delivering to California Cause it, if it was me, I would say don't send me to California because they are like giving people tickets if your truck's too old and all that other stuff. So I would I, I would tell them don't send me to California. Like I don't I don't know why y'all still do it. I I would have been on, uh, you know, if I was out that way. Cause I I already don't go up north on the northeast because there's not enough truck stops and I don't feel like you know not having somewhere to stop because that, that was one of my, my main gripes about going up in the northeast they don't have no freaking truck parking and the freaking infrastructure up there is not for trucks so that's why i pretty much never went up to the northeast unless i had a student because i can just get up there get something and get out and i, I would tell them get me something where i can get the hell up out of here because i do not like it up here so um, but pretty much that's all I had the uh brain of y'all today. Just asking y'all, do do y'all think trucking is gonna be worth it in the future? Because with these politicians, they are making rules, and they're not the ones out here driving these trucks. And they, you know, they definitely don't know what goes on on, on the 
robes and stuff because I think I seen this other thing where they was talking about um what was it? They was talking about why all these truck accidents is happening and stuff like that. But man, it's so much crap that's going on out here on these roads. Like these cars, they do not know anything about these trucks because they will jump in front of our truck and freaking slam on the, and start stepping on the brakes. Like they'll, they'll speed up just enough to pass us, hurry up and cut in front of us, then start stepping on the brake. And if anybody, <clears throat> if anybody out there who knows that have like the, the what is the detection on their, their truck, it'll slam on the brakes. Like, it, it's, just, it's just crazy how, you know, these people, they, they like making these rules and stuff, but then they really don't know what's going on out here on these roads, so. But I don't know, that's all I had to say today. I just thought I'd make this quick video for y'all. It's your boy Trucker T, and I'm out. Peace.